when you require love the most. Have letter number 6009. May 8, 2017. Fear not. Stress not. Strain not. Be at ease. If you are going through a rough time, no need to emphasize your discomfort. When you have a sore toe, for instance, you would put your foot up. Rest it. Take care of it. You don't dance on it or put on tight shoes. It is yourself you are being good to. You are connected to that foot of yours. It is part of you. You don't badger your foot or rail at that foot for being sore. You are not sore at your toes at all. Quite naturally, you soothe your toes as much as possible. When your hurt is a circumstance in your life, a heartache, let's say, you may harass yourself over it. You may ask yourself pointed questions like, What is the matter with you, you numb skull? You may say, How did you get yourself in this mess? Why were you so foolish? Now what are you going to do? How are you going to get yourself out of this? You may call yourself names. You give yourself a harder time than the situation calls for. How can you be so rude to yourself who are your life's companion? You are in constant contact with yourself. You are someone whom I tell you is one with me. Come, change your tactics, beloveds. When you require love the most, give it to yourself. Hand it over. Be courteous. If you knew how to prevent world events and personal events, you would. One of the best things you can do is to stop berating yourself. Hey, so what? You flunked a test. So, you flunked it. Tomorrow is a new day. Today, help yourself get up. Be done with self-recrimination. The case of self-recrimination, now that is foolish. Don't hammer at yourself when you are down. Consolidate your resources. Be your own goodness and mercy. What are you doing, hitting a good man when he's down, or throwing stones at a woman or child or doing anything ungenerous at all? Be as kind to yourself as you are to others, to most others, or even all others. Be good-natured to yourself. Why not simply be good-natured? No more snapping or snipping at yourself. Just as you would offer someone else a seat and a cup of tea or some refreshment, offer these to yourself. Just as you would offer your arm to someone who is struggling to walk, offer your arm to yourself. Why deny yourself sustenance and ordinary hospitality? Let go of grudges you hold to yourself. Ultimately, you are to be your best friend. Be it then. Be a good friend. Come to your own aid. You neither have to be too hard on yourself or too easy on yourself. Let yourself be. If you have to nurse your wounds, nurse your wounds. Why on earth add insult to injury? You know, mea culpa can go only so far. What greatness do you attribute from being one of the lay miserables? Instead, be a beneficent. Be a groundbreaker. Don't grind yourself down. You are a spirit. Be good-spirited. Don't trample on yourself. Start over, beloveds. From this moment on, never a discouraging word. Creation is a great thing, and I created you. I created you in my image. Don't knock what I created. I created you. I sure didn't create you to badmouth yourself. I created you to inspire yourself and the world. I knew a thing or two when I created you. I didn't create you to be down-mouthed. I didn't create you to feel sorry for yourself. I didn't create you to be sour. I created you to increase the beauty of the world. I didn't say you were created sometime or another only when you feel like it. I said, now. I said, go forth. I said to you, amaze me with your wondrousness. I said all good things to you and asked you to say the same everywhere to everyone and yourself. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org